What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about the game that I've been spending a lot of time on lately, The Last of Us Multiplayer for PlayStation 3. I've been wondering and asking myself why is this the only game I've been playing and is it really as good as I've been saying it is? And I've been wondering if I'm just crazy or if this is real. And I gotta say, this is definitely real. The Last of Us multiplayer could potentially be the best multiplayer online experience I've ever experienced in my life. That's no fluff, that's the absolute truth, and I really feel that way. When I go throughout my day and I, I have business to attend to, at the end of my day when I think of winding down, I think of playing this game now. I've tried coming home, playing Call of Duty, playing Battlefield, playing Battlefield Hardline, going to my retro stuff and nothing especially with an online offering comes close to the feeling of satisfaction that I have playing The Last of Us online. The Last of Us is very different from any other online offering I've ever played and I've got a little list of the reasons that I think why. And so I want to go through this list with you guys and I hope that you have the opportunity to play the online component of this game. We all know the single, single player is fantastic it is, bar none, one of the best games ever made, but the multiplayer is so deep and enthralling that I implore you to definitely give it a check. The level design for the multiplayer maps of The Last of Us is very diverse, but at the same time, it's not overbearing. The levels are not too large, they're not too small. They all seem to be well within the perfect range. The obstacles in the, each stage offer ample opportunity to hide, to press forward, uh, to be aggressive, to uh, you know, survey the area looking for your opponent, and it all works so well. The levels are extremely memorable, so you don't forget them very quickly. Uh, you you will remember the stages almost immediately once you run through them two or three times, and that's a great thing in a multiplayer map. One other thing that's great about this game is the ability to heal your teammates. When your teammates get taken down to the ground by either being shot or hit with a melee attack or an explosion, you have the opportunity to run up to them, get down, tap the triangle button to begin to heal them so they can get out of the crawling animation and, and regain their ability to move around the map and attack enemies. This is a very unique ability to, to see in a multiplayer game. Now, this is not the first time that I've ever seen this, but this could be the, be the best used I've ever seen it. It makes so much sense in The Last of Us to be able to do that with your downed friends and your downed teammates, and it really can shift the paradigm of the game. The teamwork in The Last of Us Online is probably one of the most teamwork oriented I've ever seen on any multiplayer game. If you don't work together as a team, more than likely you're going to get demolished. But if you do work together as a team, there's so many aspects of teamwork that can fall in your favor and turn the game around for you and your teammates. Being aggressive, crafting items, sharing, healing, bandaging. You can bandage your, your teammates if they're already injured. It's an amazing teamwork oriented game and I love The Last of Us Online. You can mark enemies in The Last of Us Online. So if you see someone creeping up from one side of the map and all your team is looking the opposite direction, you can mark them by clicking on the R3 analog nub and everyone will immediately know where this person is. Unfortunately, there is a perk that allows people to not be marked, but a lot of people don't use that perk. So always mark every enemy that you see. It could drastically affect the way the game is played out. Sacrificing yourself. Sometimes you have to do this. Sometimes you're in a situation where you're down, of course we'd like in a perfect world to be healed, but you know that there are too many enemies for you to you know, uh, be healed by one of your teammates, so the best thing to do is move out into a situation or a position where the enemy comes to attack you and your team can throw a Molotov cocktail or a bomb and kill them and get them down. You may have sacrificed yourself, but it was for the betterment of the team. And so sometimes it's something you have to think about in this game, sacrificing yourself or wonder if a teammate is sacrificing themselves for the betterment of the team. Patience is a big thing in The Last of Us Online. 
If you don't have patience, more than likely you're going to die. You can walk into a room or around the corner and everything could seem copacetic. And as you approach a toolbox or an item, three guys pop up out of nowhere and destroy you. You have got to have patience. You've got to move slowly. This game is not Call of Duty or Battlefield. It takes a lot of thinking in this game. Crafting items is extremely important in The Last of Us Online. It can make the difference between you and your team being killed or you by yourself killing a whole other team. You might see three or four enemies approaching and you get to a box. What do you make? you make a nail bomb? Do you make a smoke bot ball? Or do you make a Molotov cocktail? It's all up to you and it can be used in such a different way that it could truly affect the outcome of the match. Always be careful and always give it a lot of thought when you're crafting items. Weapon upgrades are very important in this game. You can upgrade your weapons, I think, multiple times throughout the match, making the recoil less, making it handle better, making uh, you, your reload times faster, and this is very important. As you get gears throughout the game, gears are items that are dropped by enemies you kill, and they also are uh, picked up throughout the match. The more gears you get for doing things, the more often you can upgrade your weapons and I implore you to upgrade as much as possible. Also, upgrade to armor. Armor is a very important thing to get because it basically gives you all your health plus an extra coat of health which is in the form of armor. So if you run up on someone and you're getting shot, you can get in in time and destroy them with a melee attack or shoot them while you're taking damage. Weapon unlocks are very important in this game. You have to collect a certain amount of gears to unlock different weapons. These weapons are far superior to the original default loadout that you get during the game. Things like the flamethrower, the sniper rifle, or the machete, my personal favorite that you guys will probably see in this game. These are all unlockable weapons that you get when you reach a certain point of gears that you have actually accrued throughout playing the game. And these are weapons that you get once you get a certain amount of points during the, the multiplayer map. So always get you an upgradable weapon, an unlockable weapon, and use them to the best of your ability during the game. This game makes you feel like it's real survival. You really do feel that sense of urgency when you're playing, you know, and you got three guys with you and you feel like there's another team coming to kill you and take all your stuff. The game gives you that feeling of urgency, uh, crafting on the fly. And it feels like a real situation. Your heart's pounding constantly and it adds to the overall experience of The Last of Us Online. Another great thing about this game is the listen mode. And you get about six seconds of it once you're fully, once your, your meter is filled up. You get to listen through walls just like in the single player mode and you can see the enemy moving as long as they're moving fast enough. You can see where they are and you can plan for your attack or for your escape depending on how the game is going. This game doesn't matter how bad you're doing. If your team is doing terrible and you've got four men left and they, the, the opposite team has 12 men left, there's always an opportunity to win. Don't ever think that it's over, I'm just going to rage quit. No, don't do that because sitting and taking your time and thinking about the situation and crafting items and laying traps which is another important thing in this game. You can make a nail bomb, lay it by a door if you know the enemy is going to come through that door. Or put one by all the entrances. They come around the corner, bam, they're all down. You can always win in this game. This game is never white or black. You can always think your way through it. You can always come back for that win, which happens many, many times during the times I play this game. Another little fun little thing that, that they added to the multiplayer of this game is the Facebook connectivity. When you have a Facebook account connected to your Last of Us Online profile, you will see your friends and family from Facebook on this game. Now they won't be running around with you, but in between matches you will join, they will join you in the form of survivors, either for the hunters or for the flyer, fireflies. They will join you and they will have you know allotted tasks that they do. They might be fixing a fence or making food or if you're doing bad they could be getting sick or dying so it's kind of a added layer of depth to the game is the last of us online the best online ever probably not but it just might be for me the last of us has scratched an itch an itch that i didn't know that was there and it's been an amazing ride and i am so excited to continue this journey with this game
If you never played the online, which I know a lot of people haven't, they've only played the single player mode, give it a shot. I swear you will not regret it. And if you have a PS4, this game will be out on PS4 on July 29th. You guys leave some comments let me know what you think about this game. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.